Hey, this is Chris Sietzema from Teach the Fish Digital. Uh, this is one in a series of videos that explains uh, how to in install some features into Google Tag Manager that will allow us to make uh, smarter measurements for our websites and apps. This one in particular is going to cover scroll tracking. So scroll tracking is really helpful when you've got a page that is really long um, or has some lengthy content or even other websites that are just one page in length. So scroller sites uh, where you don't actually leave from one page to another, but you just kind of scroll down the, the page and view other portions of the page um, to see different content. So what this involves is some custom script that we're going to take from uh, a site that I'll show you in just one second, a resource that provided some custom script to allow this tracking to take place. What it does when you install it is it collects and prepares data about how far people scroll down the page, 25%, 50%, 75%, 100%, and so on. We can actually create an event in Google Analytics that shows when people get further down a page. Okay, So the resource that I was telling you about is actually this one right here. It's called Scroll Depth. And so they provide some custom script. And they actually provide a really good example of a one-page site where they'll, they'll, they're will they'll likely tracking their scroll depth. So you can kind of see how long this this uh, this uh, site or this page is. And so they'll probably want to see how, how far people get down, like 75%, for example. Uh, the page that we're going to be looking at and installing a tag on for this example is right here. Uh, you can see that there's a decent amount of content on this page as I scroll all the way down. So this particular uh, client wants to view and understand how far people are, are moving down this page. That's pretty content heavy right now. So we're going to scroll, install this scroll depth um, code and tag with Google Tag Manager. Now if you haven't been to Tag Manager before, here's what it looks like. Uh, we can install new tags, triggers, and variables. I'll explain all of what that means here in a second. So for the purposes of this tagging exercise, we're going to install two different tags. One is to prepare and uh, gather data about the scroll patterns or, or how far down a page someone scrolls. And the second tag is going to take all that data and push it into Google Analytics so that we have information within Google Analytics that we can kind of look and see how people are utilizing our content if they're scrolling all the way down, etc. All right, so the first tag I'm going to install is just this scroll depth tag. I'm going to create a new tag right here, and we're going to call it scroll depth. It is a custom HTML tag, and so what uh, this scroll depth site has provided is just this, this script right here. I'm going to steal it just in a little Dropbox, and I'll provide access to this link as well, so you've got it. But if I copy that, paste it into my a custom HTML tag, and then I want to trigger this um, when people do a certain action. So if we look at this um, page, what we want to do is call this tr trigger scroll depth. And this is going to be a custom event. And we're going to call this gtm.dom. The DOM will explain in a minute. Now, if you want to just track every single page on your website, or if you've only got a one-page website, you're done. That's all you need to do. For this particular example, I just want to track this page right here. So I'm going to grab this URL right here of this website and say, um, I just want to track or have this scroll depth load when the page path contains that URL. Okay, so. This, uh, this scroll depth is only going to be available on that particular page. If I wanted to include other pages, I could just add other pages um, or, or different directories within the site. But for, for this example, I'm just going to load it on this one page. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, save that. Now you remember I hit that gtm.dom was my uh, custom trigger there. Let me preview this real quick so we can see if that's loading okay. Okay, now we're entering preview and debug mode. And so with this, this is going to allow us to see on this website, since we've got the tag manager loaded on this site already, um, which tags are firing. So I've got uh, Universal Analytics firing, a Google Remarketing tag firing, Crazy Egg. We didn't really talk about those at all, but it looks like our scroll depth tag fired. And the reason I wanted the uh, gtm.dom trigger is because all of these tags are pretty much going to fire on page view. The, B, the DOM... Um, is a document object model. And so what this does is this won't fire until all of the content on this page fires or, or loads, okay? And so because I, it's dependent upon the entire length of the page to see 
uh, how, far, how far people are scrolling down. I want to make sure that the entire content loads before that. So that's why I had the trigger, uh, which we'll look at once again. Uh, right here, scroll depth for gtm.dum. So when that fires, that's when the scroll depth tag fires so they can start collecting data or I can start collecting data about how far people are scrolling down. So this is the tag that's going to capture all this data. Now the next tag that I want to prepare is going to require some custom variables. Okay, and so because we're pushing data in uh, from Google Tag Manager to Google Analytics through a custom event, we want to make sure all of our event variables are ready because that tag, this scroll depth tag, is going to, to gather information and put it into very specific event parameters or variables. Okay, and so we want to create different event um, category, an event action, an event label, an event value. I'm going to do that here real quick for you. So that's going to push information into the data layer. So I'm going to call this data layer category. So every event has a category, an action, a label, and sometimes they have a value. I'm going to call this a data layer variable, and this one's going to be event category. So that's my category. I'll create another here real quick. It's going to be my action. It's a data layer variable, event, action. Then I've got label and value to do next. I'll do those very quickly. And then the last one is value. Again, that code is going to take that information from the data layer and push it through to Google uh, Analytics. But we've got to have these custom variables set up so it knows whether to push 25%, 75%, 50%, however far down the person scrolled. Okay. Value. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to create my, my scroll um, distance tag. Okay. So because this is an event, I'm going to label it. I've got other, some other event tags in here for analytics. You can see these universal analytics tags. They're all labeled as events. Because we're going to push an event through, I'm going to call this event scroll distance. Now this is going to be a universal analytics tag. I'm going to pull in a custom variable or, or constant variable rather for my property ID. That's kind of like your UA code. If you're familiar with Google Analytics, your UA code, you just pull that in. This is going to be an event like we talked about earlier. And then for this part is pretty easy. I'm just going to match up my event tracking category, event action with my data layer action, my label, my value, etc. Now this is a non-interaction hit. I want this to be true because I don't want this to mess with my bounce rate. If I don't set this to true, it might mess with might mess with my bounce rate a little bit every time this event fires. I don't want that to happen. So we're going to set that that way. And then I'm going to create a custom variable here um, that's going to um, basically respond to some code that we've got in this in this text or this this tracking script here. So I'm going to create a custom event. We're going to call this scroll distance. And it's a custom event. And we're just going to call it scroll distance. And again, that's basically corresponding to some tracking code that's in that script that we loaded earlier. Distance. Okay, I think we have that set up correctly. So we've got two tags. One tag to gather and provide all the information about scroll depth. And then another to basically take all that information and push it through to Google Analytics. Let me refresh that real quick. And we are going to go back to this site and refresh that. So we have to refresh our preview and debug mode and then the page itself. And we can see we've got event scroll depth then distance. And then as I scroll down, we're going to watch how many times this fires right here as I scroll down. So I'm probably about a quarter of the page there. Halfway down there, three quarters right around now, and then 100% all the way down here at the fifth. So on this fifth one, I'm going to go look and see what happened at this scroll distance tag 
and it looks like if I look at the detail, scroll depth percentage 100%. The, the one previous to that, let's look at that just to make sure everything's working properly. Percentage scroll depth 75%. So we're looking pretty good. It looks like it's working. Now, we always want to test in preview and debug mode. Once we've got all that set up, we can publish it, and that would go live to our Google Tag Manager instance on this particular website. Another important test that I would recommend is actually going into Google Analytics once you've tested all that out and making sure that the real-time reports are showing that data as well. So I'm going to go into Overview, and it looks like we've got some, some other people. I'm on this page right here. If I go to Events, um, it looks like I've got some scroll depth activity. So it looks like it's happening, so that's a good sign. Um, the activity that we put in there in terms of scroll depth for that particular page is coming through um, Google Analytics with the, with the event category of an action and, and the labels there as well, so that's all good. So that's how you would implement scroll tracking with uh, Google uh, Tag Manager, uh, thanks to the folks at um, this site here who provided that helpful code to make it all possible. Let me know if you have any questions. You can find me on email, phone, or you can find me on Twitter if you have any questions. Happy to help. Have a good one.